In this video, we are going to see how we can use axis control in CDS view or how we can use the authorization objects in the CDS view. So for that, we will be creating a new axis control, which is this option, and then provide a name CAC underscore authorization. and provide some description access control click on next next and uh, next and here we will be using this specific option which uh, where we can uh, we, which provide a facility to use a role created in the pfcg and the authorization objects maintained in that role so we will be selecting this option uh, click on finish this is the template which gets generated this is the name of our access control and here the cds view name will be there on which this access control needs to be applied okay and then uh, uh, this option will have the field on which field we want to apply the authorization check then authorization object on which field you want to apply and then a filter field okay so let's change this and uh, we will be using an existing sql cds view which we have created in our last video of metadata extension i will provide the link in the description for this video where we created this so copy this name and uh, paste it here now make these changes delete these values so on which field we want to apply this authorization check is carrier id we want to see specific carrier ID data. What's the authorization object? It is ZSPFLI auth. What is the control field? Authorization object field. We have changed this, delete, delete this as well. And then what activity we are using here so activity will be 03 which is a display activity okay so now we have created our access control let's try to activate it is activated now so this this access control is now attached onto this cds view now our requirement was to to show a specific airline data only and in this case we are showing only singapore airline data to the user the authorization object which we have created is assigned to a specific role which we created and then under the authorization tab you can check the object here so this is the authorization object and this is the field which we have maintained which is a carrier id field or airline code field and the value it will be checked against is sq so if this authorization object is assigned to any cds view the cds view will only display airline data for sq carrier id and the activity will be display which is 03 So now let's run our CDS view. Okay, one more thing is this line. So in when you create a CDS view, you will always see here a check. This is how it will look like by default. Which means this CDS view, if an access control has been created for this CDS view, 
then it will check the authorization object or authorize check what data it is allowed to show if it is something other than check like these values you need to change it to check here then only the access control will work so click on activate and uh, let's run this open with data preview we want to is in active okay let's activate it okay, it is now activated open with data preview see we only getting data for carrier id sq which we have maintained in our authorization object now let's try to change it to some other value and uh, let's take not allowed so what it does is now it will not check the authorization object even though it is maintained for this specific cds view okay let's activate it it is activated and see you will see all of the data available from the cds view okay so these are the two values which we were seeing when the authorization object was checked now let's change it again to hash check activate it is activated and again see the data we are only seeing the two records here so that's all for now in this video thanks for watching if you like the content please subscribe leave comments if you have one or if you want to share anything suggest anything comments are welcome thank you